Well, sir, I don't have to follow your policy. We do. You think it's funny, but... We, we can talk about this all day long. But Back up for me, yeah, sir, we, please. We he said he don't want no... Then let me in. Well, no, we're trying to keep... It. The cameras are, can't come in. You, you're more than welcome to come in. If you're going to support their decision... I'm going to support what the judges tell us to enforce, right? Georgia Transparency along with L3 Media went hot in Catoosa County, Georgia. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe to include smashing that notification bell right quick, fast, and in a hurry. Sheriff's deputies are entrusted to enforce laws and uphold the rights of the people. The Catoosa County Sheriff's Office does the opposite of that if a judge orders it. To them, whatever a judge orders, they follow. GTNL3 was peacefully trying to gain access to a public part of a government building and a submitted Georgia Open Records request. Deputies blatantly ignored the oath they swore to uphold and enforced policy and procedure instead. A captain with the sheriff's office supported what Sheriff Gary Sis deputies violated. Basic constitutional rights are guaranteed to all. Whereas the mission statement according to the Catoosa County Sheriff's Office website mission statement, quote, the mission or primary purpose of the Catoosa County Sheriff's Office is to maintain social order within the prescribed ethical and constitutional limits while providing professional law enforcement services, end quote. It appears that if a judge issues an unconstitutional order, then the deputies will follow. If you're going to support their decision, I'm going to support what the judges tell us to enforce, right? Let's check out the front entrance of the Catoosa County Courthouse. Oh, just coming in the courthouse. Right, with a camera. What are you doing in Oh, just checking out the public areas of the courthouse, that's all. Well, you're, you can't bring cameras in. Oh, sure we can. No, sir, you can. Why? You have to have a uh, order from the judge. Oh, yeah, that's to go in the courtroom. That's Rule 22. No, no, the whole court I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry. I know who you I'm sorry. Do you have a supervisor at home? Supervisor's off today. Okay, I just I want to come in the courthouse. You're welcome to go down to the sheriff's office and talk to them. Talk to the sheriff. Uh, what's your name and badge number then? Benjamin Dowdy. There's a notice on the, on the door. How you doing, man? Yeah. Yeah, though, but what if the notice said, like, no black people or something? I'm sorry? I said, what if the notice said no black people? It, it doesn't say that. I know it doesn't. Because it's, like, unlawful. Yeah, I just want to come into order. court. Oh, we got to the... <clears throat> All right, so this is stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, we're not allowed to let you in. Is there. your body cam rolling? No, sir, it isn't. Okay. We're not allowed to let you in there. With I'm not going to courtroom. In the courthouse. No, no, you're allowed in the courthouse. No, sir, according to our policy. Rules. Well, sir, policy doesn't trump yes, law. Sir. You're not going to change our policy right now. Well, sir, I don't have to follow your policy. We do. And yeah, you do, but I don't. You're not coming in with that unless you get a judge's consent. Okay? But that's rule 22 for the superior courtroom, well, sir. Here and argue about do you have a supervisor room. available? Same as him. Y'all operate with no supervision? Sir, admin is over. And your name and badge number, sir? Lamel. Lamel. Okay, well, I just I want to come in and stay in the sir, public area. Come in with a camera. You're not. Then we trespass. Okay. You're, you're just not coming in with a camera. But how do you trespass somebody from public property without commission of a crime? <laughs> you think it's funny, but. We, we, we can talk about this all day long, but ultimately you're not going to come in with a camera. Of, mean, of, of, of course I am. No, of course you're not. Of course I am. No, sir. Is there like a, like, you're, what about a... You're welcome to come through the courthouse and do anything you want to do, but you're not bringing that camera. Why? Because that's our rules. So your rules supersede the U.S. Constitution? <laughs> the yeah, U.S. I, Constitution has, has cameras in the U.S. Constitution. Freedom of the press, do you know what that means? Are you a press member? Of course. Mm. Most definitely. Well, have a good day, friend. Unless you push camera up, you're not coming to the courthouse. You know, that's a violation of rights. Okay. You know, the best well, you can talk to about that. You sir? Honest. You can talk to about that. No, the best yeah. person yeah. Would, would be you that raised your right hand and swore the oath. You can, you can file a federal lawsuit if you like. Are you serious? Sure. You don't care? I he don't, I don't mind at all. That he doesn't pay it. That doesn't bother me at all. Because you don't pay it. Good hmm. morning, Harry. She pays it. We pay it. I gotta get short. Brett, that foot. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do for you right now. Huh. I mean, 
Because there was no, there's no sergeant, well, there's no sergeant or supervisor available, or today, no, today. Not in this courtroom, but yes. Well, what about? We're at the building yesterday. Okay, well, can you call one of them and make sure what y'all are doing is, what y'all are doing is unconstitutional? That's pretty much how we handle. I know you handle stuff by your policy and rules. Sir, nothing needs to change. We don't change the Constitution to, to bend it to our will. I want to come in a public space. But no, I want to come in a public space. Right. Okay. You're not coming in the courtroom. I'm not going in the courtroom. You're not coming in the courthouse. Why? I'm not going to say anything. Why? So at this point, you're getting a little tired of the conversation. Then stop talking and go back to work. I understand your points, but it's called my favorite. Okay, well, call somebody that's above your pay grade that can make that decision. All right, I'll tell you where they are located. I don't need to go. I don't need to talk to anybody. I want to be left alone. And at, at this juncture, what is your goal to come inside? My goal is to check out my, our government building in the public spaces, which is protected by the U.S. Constitution and the First Amendment. And you're violating that right now. I would love to help you out, but I'm not going to. But you're not going to help me out with it. I'm going to follow it by a... Department's policy procedures there. So is there anything else I can do for you? To do? Okay, so just so we're clear, you're following under your department's policy and procedure yes, in refusing access to the public with a camera. Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Lamountain. 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 All righty. Do we know if you go get a chance? Come let me know. No. I don't need to go anywhere. I need a supervisor. Y'all got a supervisor? Yes, Y'all can call. You know, hold somebody from that. Yes. Most definitely, y'all are making y'all are making a terrible mistake. And like the gentleman, like he said over here, he doesn't care about a federal lawsuit. Like, if they come down the pipeline, say, "Hey, you don't understand." Well, if y'all if y'all get in front of a federal freaking judge, I guarantee you, y'all will change your tune. I mean, we have judges in here. I said a federal judge. There's no federal judges in here. Exactly, you will. And guess who has to pay? Your insurance company. And guess who has to pay the insurance company because the millage and the tax rates go up. You don't care? You don't try to get through the day Our following says different. Our following says you that they very much care. No, look, wow. You know how many courthouses I go into in the state of Georgia? No, worry about it. Y'all are making a big mistake. Y'all are making a huge mistake. I hope that's a supervisor. Willing to deal with that. Are you a supervisor? Sir? Oh, no, no, you were just sitting out here. No, he wasn't. He wasn't sitting out here? Oh. I mean, I'm an officer in charge, I guess. Uh, I, want, I want access to the public areas of this public building. No, I'm not. Yes, sir. Mr. No, sir. Oh, what's your name and uh, ba I mean, badge number? Deputy Lewis? Yes, sir. Ah, and your badge number? Sorry, I'm just trying yes, to. Sir. Create a little bit of distance. I don't like being like walked up on and stuff. Yeah, I know y'all don't either. You said you go into a lot of courthouses. Yes, sir, I do. Well, what do they do? Do they change your rules? They let me in. There is no rules. Your rules don't supersede rules. The, the U.S. Constitution. Back up, back up, to, back up for me, yeah, sir, please. He said he don't want no nobody in his space. I don't want anybody in my space. Back you up. You pointed to the side. That's right correct. here. I think it says courtroom right on there. Yep, you're right. This is not a courtroom. You can't that come in. Courtroom. You can't come into the courthouse, okay? It doesn't say courthouse. It says I understand courtroom. what it says. I understand what it says. But I mean, you can't come in with the cameras. You might want to call your sheriff, or no, I don't have to call the sheriff. Y'all are making a big mistake. Huge. A huge your own, your mistake. Sign says courtroom. Yeah, I understand. What okay, it says. I'm gonna put my stuff here. I want to access the public areas. You can't come up here, sir. My camera can come with me. <laughs> no, I cannot go in the courtroom. Today, right now, this hour. Well, why not today? What about tomorrow? Listen, if you want to go to the admin, if you want to go to the yeah, if you want to go talk to the sheriff, yeah. I don't need to talk to anybody. We don't know. You know what I'm I don't know. I don't know either. You pointed to it, and that's why I that's, pointed that's out. Exactly it says courtroom. I understand what it says. I really do. Then, then why are you saying courthouse when it says courtroom? Why are you shaking so much? I have I have TBI. What's that? I have a book. Right. Any of y'all in the military? No, sir, I wasn't. Or I ever been? Okay. No, yeah. I wasn't. That's... I shake like this all the time. Were you in the military? Yes. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you. Hmm. We both. Well, thank you too. Okay. Absolutely. Hmm.
Your guys also. But freedom stops here. Got gotcha. you. No, it's not. It's not that, sir. I mean, it's just we just we can't allow cameras into the courthouse. Okay, that's that's all. That's it. It's not that we're trying to keep you guys out for any reason. Of course you are. Then no, let me not. in. Well, no, we're trying to keep you. the cameras can't come in. You, you're more than welcome to come in. Of course the cameras can. It's a public space. No, sir. The cameras can't come in. Is it a public space? <sighs> the cameras can't come in. Is it a public space? Yes, it is. Th there we go. It's a public courthouse. The courthouse. That's correct. I cannot take this in the courtroom. You can't come in the courthouse. Of course you can. No, you can't. Of course you can. No, you can't. Well, let me ask you after. Do you plan on talking to our supervisors, admin, filling them in, so yeah. they can change the policy? No, I, there's no policy that needs to be changed. <laughs> you have to follow your policy. No, you I don't. What do you plan on doing past this point? I'm sorry? What do you plan on, on doing past this point? I don't understand your question. Like, what do you mean? I, 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 I might go get more coffee or... You are. You plan on, like, doing something bad. Do you want to talk to the admin? Do you want to see if we can reverse that policy or procedure? Do you plan did you raise your right hand and swear an oath to the yeah, U.S. Constitution? We're, 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 kind of we're, kind of we're not past that. You know, judge, You're telling me freedom. I don't care about the judge. I'm not going to talk to based on what you're saying. But you are. Really, I would talk to. But you are. I want to actually. He just said it was public. Like you said, we go to a lot of courthouses. But what about tomorrow? Like, no, like you come in at this point, whoever's doing the checks will say you like to fix something along the line. Uh, oh, yeah. Make sure you don't go in the courtrooms and there are some restricted areas. Right. Yes, we, we already know. Sure. And we just go by it. And that's, that's how you say you're going to do it. You go through the camera yeah. down. Sir, I go to all over courthouses all over the state of Georgia, and this is a uh, this is a rare occurrence that this happens. Oh, okay. Alabama, Florida, yes. Okay. Alabama, Florida, Mississippi, very, very uh, rare. North Carolina. Carolina. Mm -hmm. um, so there are occasions where they say the same thing, have the same policies. Well, they get a supervisor, and then the supervisor usually corrects the subordinates, and I'm able to access the public areas freely. So. Yeah. Um, How many times? Look at my channel. I don't know. Normally they don't have Georgia transparency. So I don't on me. Look it up and go. How are you doing? It says courtroom, not courthouse. And at that point, like said, yes, sir. To access a courtroom, a judge has to approve a rule twenty-two. Outside of courtrooms, we have a lot of people that do not even just across the hallway, and they're but in y'all's case, and I wasn't trying to be a public area. They're even out of the courthouse. It's a public area. You didn't make the rule, but you're 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 enforcing a rule. Are you rule enforcement? or Are you law enforcement? I have done policy procedures. So you so so if I break policy, can I be arrested for it? There's some policies that don't supersede the Constitution. I understand that. So what happens if I go in with a camera? What would be my charge? Yeah. Literally. Yeah, criminal, trespass. Like, criminal, trespass. criminal trespass for what, because though? Because somebody with authority over this public institution you, has told you. I have to break another, I have to break a law to be criminally trespassed from public property. Right, so we would impact how you did choose one premise, and if you didn't, then that would be the infraction. That makes no, no sense whatsoever. No. However, I was always... If we're, if we're on private property, sure, uh, it makes sense. Sure, this county has authority over No, the people do. Okay. It is in his purview, and if he tells yeah, us you that no we tell wrong. someone else they cannot be on this property, <clears throat> we technically um, have authority of this. And to be honest, if they break a law, I got the okay. if I come in here causing a disturbance, somebody, or does, authority, I did hey, we hide transparency uh, here. So we can't come in with a camera. Um, in the public like areas, I'd love, to, I'd love to fix this problem for you, but I can't do that. I'm not I don't want to waste any more your time. You're not wasting my time. I don't have any other train. So I was a welder. I'm a welder. If you send me into that building, all I can do is shoot. I'm not doing it. We'll go to the one down there. That we're supposed to be going to Georgia Transparency. So I yes, sir. Look it up. It is a big channel. So I'm telling y'all, we're making a mistake. Y'all are going to find out in a couple of days when a story when I run the story. I'm telling you. I'm trying to tell you that it's public. It was it was the right move to 
the right thing to do because it was a bad order. Yeah. But it was also a stupid thing to do because seven people walking into a room of about 25, yeah. mm -hmm. not a good idea. Right. <laughs> but like I say, that's that's where is there a that's where sergeant or a lieutenant? My goes is there it's not right. Like to see here, but there's not, not, there's not one today. Just not today. Mm -hmm. oh. I have to go against it. Okay. It's a devil. Perfect. If the sign said nobody with blue shirts, I'd be like, yeah, that's a dumb rule, and I'm not abiding by that. If what if the sign said nobody with blue shirts? Mm -hmm. Would you follow that policy, or would you let me in with a blue shirt? People sometimes a little smarter than us are going to make policy decisions. <laughs> Makes your exactly. I love that you. I love that you keep resorting back to policies and procedures because you're law enforcement, not policy and procedure enforcement. You can't arrest me for a policy violation. You can't arrest me for a policy violation. No, you can't. I want to access my public building in the public areas. Understand, but you are only allowed to. Okay, then let's go. We're not going to let you take the camera. We are not going to let you take the camera. Why? Okay. Now, if we come back, find out, like, hey, you know what? What's the law? What's the law? Down. What's the law? Just what's the law, and I'll turn around and leave. People with authority are just going to. Oh, just people with authority. Okay, so if the people with authority said, pull your gun out, hold them at gunpoint, and search them before you let them in to make sure they ain't got no weapons, would you do that? Oh, that's so it's different. Why is that different? You said people with authority. Anybody with authority over a certain place can take and leave. They can and they can tell me to leave this building all day, and until I commit a crime, I do not have to leave. Okay, I, think this is I do not. Now, if it was private property, most definitely you'd be in the right all day. Being in a publicly funded building that's paid for by the taxpayers, and your salary is paid for by the taxpayers, you cannot make me I leave this property. Argument, but yet, in fact, we could, and there's several different reasons why we could. And if you don't, because we have no glory, that would be. The what would be your reason for making me leave? Uh, disorderly conduct. What's disorderly? And you're, I would say you're committing right now, but there are several public institutions. There are several there, Yes, places. there you go. If I come in here being disorderly, right, right, right. most definitely. But merely, so exi it's public. It's public. merely existing with a camera? So why can I? How's that disorderly? I'm just saying it is. Okay, but, if we tell you it's fine, it's a crime. Do I? I'm sorry. Y'all have a great day. We went down to the sheriff's office to report these deputies' actions. However, a captain appeared to be in support of what they did. If a judge orders it, we must follow it. The unprofessionalism and downright disregard by the ones that swore to support and defend the Constitution. This is your Catoosa County deputies acting and doing as they please without any regard for people's rights. Um, is there something that can be done about that? Because so I need access to the court. Superior court judges? Yeah, the, the Superior Court judges can't override a constitutional law. So we just enforce the orders that the judges issue, right? Uh, and so it's just like with a trial, if media wants to come in, that's got to be either. Well, that's the courtroom. I'm not talking about the courtroom. Yeah, sure. and that's actually not the, the courtroom. I'm talking about the courthouse, kind of like how I'm in here right now with a camera, which is perfectly legal. I can't go back in the jail cell or in, in the pods with, with, with a camera. I can't do that. Sure. So think of the courthouse that way. That could be the courtroom. This is the courthouse. I understand what so you're they're saying. enforcing some unconstitutional prax, uh, practices down there. So, I, and I understand what you're saying, but it's just the same as this is this is a secured area for the sheriff's office. Yeah, the, but the courthouse isn't. It, well, the whole courthouse is for courthouse security. Um, and there again, we. But enforce, he was talking about enforcing policies and law. I mean, I'm sorry, policies and procedures. From what so the what judge if, is issued. So if the judge issues nobody's allowed in this court that wears a blue shirt, would they enforce that? Well, you're not comparing apples to oranges. Well, they said I can't come in with a camera. Correct. It's the same thing. What if they said no blue shirts? So, and they can't. You can't go in with phones. Um, of course, you can. The. Can I file a Can I file a formal complaint um, with, with the sheriff's office against those three? Against the three deputies. Yes. Sure. Okay, I would like to file a formal complaint of unconstitutional practices and violation of constitutional okay. rights. And the, the officer in charge pointed right over the uh, metal detector. Mm -hmm. And he was even mistaken in that, and he corrected himself once I pointed it out. But he goes, he goes, the law says no cameras in the courthouse. And I went, um, that's his courtroom. 
that is the law. Georgia law says sure. none in the courtroom. Right. And he goes, well, it's policies and procedures. It's like, so a policy can't supersede. I understand what you're saying. And he goes, well, you have to go talk to Adnan, go talk to the sheriff's department. It's like, we understand that. Yeah. But we shouldn't have to talk to them because the law says we can. Just but here's the thing. Court. Here's the thing. If I want access to a courtroom, there's a thing called Rule 22. Mm -hmm. This got to be approved by the judge for me to take recorded equipment, my camera, into into a courtroom. A courthouse, you cannot restrict that because I need to go in there and I need to file open records requests. I can't do that. Now you're, you're the, the, I'm being restricted from services all because I have a camera which is protected by the First Amendment and there's a plethora of case law behind that of Smith versus Cumming, Georgia. There's so much case law that falls in the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals and with the U.S. Supreme Court that says what we're doing is perfectly legal and they can't do what they're doing. I just want to know if you're going to support their decision. I'm going to support what the judges tell us to enforce, right? Uh, what if the judge, but so if the judge tells you to, in, to to go out and take everybody's guns because we're we're taking the Second Amendment back, are you going to go door to door taking people's firearms? Well, there, just because a judge tells you there, to do you're it, you're not comparing apples to apples. A judge can't pass laws. I understand that. They can't. They can't create laws. I understand that. They can create policy procedures for their courtroom, sure. not for the courthouse. I need to go to the clerk's office because I need to file open records requests. I can't do that because they're not allowing me in there with a camera. I just want to know if the sheriff's office, Sheriff Sisk, y'all support that decision. So we will enforce what the judge's orders are at this moment. If those change, then we'll change, right? Have a great day, sir. All right. Have a good, Have a good day. You want the paperwork for the following complaint? Oh, um, no, sir. Y'all uh, will probably be hearing from somebody. Y'all have a great day. Right. Thank you. Hey, what channel do y'all have? Uh, mine is Georgia Transparency. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and to include, smash that notification bell. Until next time, GT is going cold.